What's up? Oi. PC Oi. Live. PC Live. PC Live. We're on. Yes, sir. PC Live, boys and girls. It's Tuesday night. It's the uh, what, 26th of February. Just getting set up here. It's Taco Tuesday. Tacos. Right. Can't have a Tuesday without tacos. It just ain't right. Hey, who doesn't know the rest of this music? Beard Commander does it. Beard Commander does not. It's there also commented in the description of this video. <laughs> but you know how that works. Oh, yeah. Just finding some stuff to give away in our, or some of our trivia. Stuff we haven't given away yet. Share, share this with the wife. So we got going on. So we get to win everything now? No, you guys don't get to win. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're out. We're out. Well, I'm going to the gym. <laughs> Y'all get the play here. I'm going to the Jeep at Trivia Town. <laughs> <laughs> Ask each other questions only we know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is Clinton Spouse's birthday? <laughs> I know it. <laughs> what's up, Cody? Cody knows what's happening tonight. We coming in loud and clear. So like yeah. yeah. We're work on our we're gonna work on our setup for uh, future. BC Lives, we're gonna get uh, we get some equipment that way we'll be able to isolate audio and you guys will hear us individually loud and clear, not just from a distance on a phone or computer. Alright. Hey baby. Hi Nikki. Any mail says this is way too much ginger action going on. No. <laughs> never <laughs> never enough. What's up, Brandon? Cuddles? Yeah, Cuddles. Cuddles is in the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Had a good time this weekend. Was it third place? The second? What'd you get? Second place? Third place? I can't remember. I saw your post. I know you placed in the uh, Come and Shave It 13 beard comp. Congrats on your. on your. Uh, he was in the other 12 with Tom and Clinton. Yeah. Saw his full decked out costume with the yeah. mask. And yeah, I know. That was his. Uh, his uh, tin type from uh, barber type photo. But we tried to get in there, but apparently you had to do reservations and all that. But yeah, a big event like that, they definitely will want to take reservations up front because there's just so many people that are there. There's a ton. Yeah, but they're great. They're really great at what they do. I've gotten one or two. Yeah. And just really all they know how to get you set up and make it, just make it look like it's legit oh, yeah. know, like 1800s oh, yeah, it, was, it was pretty neat <laughs> it was really cool yeah we were begging pretty much come on let's put it put in somewhere <laughs> <laughs> uh, no we're filled yeah. Yeah. Some nice. so, so, next time yeah but, no, that place was pretty cool i had a uh, had a couple beers a couple beers a couple yeah. couple that happens at a beer competition you get a few a few you get a few uh alcoholic beverages going and you know, everything just really starts to mellow out. Oh yeah, and yeah. start feeling good. I actually waited. Uh, I actually waited a while because I had that mustache all styled up. Yeah, because I was afraid to drink because <laughs> my category was so late. I didn't want to like, be drinking all day and then get wet and start falling. I was like, nope, well, hold off. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's tough there. So, yeah, kind of held on, scared to mess it up. Yeah, <laughs> now, we ran into a lot of guys we already know that we've seen in the past, and then. Uh, Whole bunch of new guys. Uh, yeah, everybody's got something going on. Some of them uh, 254 boys wanted us to come down for a cookout they got coming up. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll get more info on that. But, uh, the, uh, Is that the one with the kids? Yeah, Q, Q, Q for kids. Yeah, Q for kids. Yeah, yeah so uh, they really want us to come down there. They said it was uh, the BC there. The competition was for that, uh, what is it called? The Ivy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that it's sanctioned. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, yeah. Every time it's sanctioned for that, awesome. So they'll have 
So they'll have the actual IBCA judges there judging the barbecue, not yeah. just not just folks they pick from the crowd or, or whatever. Yeah. So that's fine, but you know, sanction one, you know, well, yeah. you're going to get the guys that hardcore oh, you know, yeah. barbecue. Yeah, the, 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 the true tried and true pit masters. That's right. They're going to show up the, the gospel, don't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why they were asked us to come down and they knew what's up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Brandon said, Q for the kids. I uh, believe it's uh, it's going to be right there in Olinville where we did uh, the beer comp. I think they said it's right, right across the street. Okay. But uh, right from, the, yeah, from that bar and grill. Yeah. So uh, all of our members down there in the Nolanville, Fort Hood, clean area, you know, that's going to be in your neck of the woods. So uh, I'll show you some work. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Uh, the 254 Whisker Men are, uh, they're all kick ass, man. It's a great group of guys right there. The Nolanville? Yeah. So, um, yeah, where else we go? Right. We're going to event Saturday at two at Deep Ellum. <clears throat> we got the uh, Deep Ellum Outdoor Market, so that'll be going on. I know the weather's kind of, we're not sure, but right now they're, they're, they're a go. So, I mean, the temperature's going to be okay. <laughs> they're, they're saying there could be some rain. Come, yeah. come Monday, Tuesday, man. We're not getting up to thirties. That's what I hear. Expecting snow, right? Yeah. You could, uh, I believe when I see it. Yeah. I'm <laughs> sure. I've been saying that all winter. I don't know. I love this weekend too. The morning uh, or uh, spring Texas or stuff. Yeah. That's this weekend. Yeah, I think that's uh, so. That's the um, Brothers Keeper that's a Motorcycle Club is having their spring fling event and that's going to be in uh is it spring saginaw uh, is it spring texas or no, no no spring texas yeah. is near houston uh, i think it's really the wrong one i think it's in uh <laughs> i think they call it spring fling oh, the name of the event I, I think it's in saginaw at their at their chapter post it's a lot closer to spring mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah um, so uh yeah, you guys can look that up. We all, we've shared that information already. I think we shared it on Instagram. Uh, probably share it on the Facebook page also. You guys can check those things out. We'll, keep, we'll continue to post those event updates so you guys know where we're going to be at. And uh, go check out uh, both of those. The Brothers Keeper is uh, for charity. So their event, all the money they're raising is going to charity. They do a lot with children's charities. They do a lot with children's burn units. So it's, it's really good when we can get your guys' support to do these events because the money is going right back to, you know, help kids that have had unfortunate things happen that, you know, out of their control. And it's great to be able to brighten their day and to try to help ease the cost of uh, medical attention that they you know, had to have and continue to have. So you guys come out and support those events that we're going to be at this weekend. The times are posted. You guys can check that out. Uh, look that up. Chris and Clinton are going to be working those. The shop will be open as always. If you need a haircut or a beer trim or any barbecue products, come on in. Beer supply. Come on and get you a cold beer. Sit down, get that beard trimmed up, get a haircut. Took advantage of that last week. Brandon got us a good beard shape for the beard comp. Yeah. Had a good straight razor on my neck, lined up the top. He did a great job. Well, hell yeah. Sanger, Texas. Sanger. Way off. Okay. Sanger. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, We're still Sanger's better yeah. than Spring. Yeah. 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 That's why I was looking at Spring, I guess that's when I saw that. Yeah. It says from 9 to 5 Saturday. 9 to 5. Y'all so northern folk. <coughs> Y'all live up around Denton, Louisville, Fort Worth, and anywhere over that way. You guys are going to be pretty close. So I'm sure that's probably not too far from the racetrack. Yeah. yeah. So, Y'all live up anywhere in that area, Justin area. Go check that out. It's going to be a good, uh, good time. They're going to have uh, music and food and vendors. So come on out. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, pretty soon we'll be doing our own stuff, throwing our own events. Uh, yeah, the uh, the Whiskers Watch the Hatchie. Uh, Boy, 
We're still waiting on uh, still waiting on a logo just to get everything kicked off. Uh, that's yeah. the only uh, hiccup we're having right now is uh, waiting for y'all to yeah. send in your submissions. Uh, so those of y'all that, that missed it, we kind of put out a deal to where uh, whoever can send in uh, some some logos, some submissions. Uh, Scott here was uh, going to gracefully give them a gift certificate, a payout, or what was the? Uh, yeah, we're going to do. Well, we're going to do uh, two hundred fifty dollars cash, and then if you're if you're bearded, you know we'll probably throw in uh, some extra goodies for you. Just for no other reason than you know your fellow uh, beard commander. So that's kind of the where we're at right now. We, we have had a, a couple people uh, send some stuff in, but you know I definitely don't want to close it until everybody that wants to turn something in has a chance to. But we can't just keep the doors open on it forever. We've got to yeah. got to come to a conclusion here before too long. Um, we got to get a bunch of flyers and different things made next month. Sure. So we're gonna have those that locked down so if you are interested make sure you email to me the logos the files that you have you can just go ahead and send a pdf it doesn't have to be high resolution uh, just for this or just for us to look at it and, and be able to kind of see uh, what you got uh, we can work on a, an ai version you know down the road or if you don't have the capability that's fine we can definitely uh, you know kind of take it from there and uh, you know, Pick yours, and it's not in the higher level presentation. We can uh, we can certainly work that uh, work that up later. <clears throat> so I know uh, Michael Lessis Moore said he might throw something together. So I don't know if he's in the live, but if you are, go ahead and uh, get that to me uh, as soon as you uh, get a chance. I've had several people said they were really they were really uh, trying to come up with some unique you know things to add to the logo to kind of just make it really different so I'm looking forward to seeing what people come up with and being able to share it with everybody you know once we kind of come up we get enough we may we may even do a selection process where we say hey these are these are the top three you know, yeah, these are the top three we like y'all yeah, tell us what you you know what you guys think and I'll put it to a vote and kind of see you know where everybody uh, where everybody is with it like that yeah yeah but we're all we're all excited to see something we need yeah, a rock and roll. We need it sooner than later. That's right. We got a beer comp coming up in uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend, so it's going to be the 16th of March. Was right, 16th, yeah. 17th, 16th. So it's a Saturday. I think it's 12 to 7, 12 to 7 p.m. It's uh, beers on the bay, put on by Harry Duke, Harry Hooligans, and Beer Commander is the title sponsor. Yo, Johnny Rodriguez and them boys. That's right. We definitely appreciate them uh, giving us that opportunity. We'll be there in full support. And we'll have our uh, booth set up. Y'all can come check us out. Check out all of our products. If you got any questions? We'll also be competing, of course. Yep. You know, we don't just go and set up. You know, we go to uh, have a good time. You know, support the cause, compete. You know, get a little competitiveness going on. I mean, yeah. come on. <laughs> It's not. It's not any fun. You just you just show up and uh, you know you want to you want to go and really have a good time and uh, fellowship with your fellow beer you know brothers and even sisters that do the whiskerinas. Oh yeah. You know that's becoming a, a huge pop, hugely popular category. And if you don't know what it is, uh, you're missing out. If you're a lady, you, uh, you can make your own beer, your own costume, whatever it is you want to do, and you go up and get judged. And, I don't think there's any comps going on right now that don't have that category. Yeah. So yeah. you guys pretty much, <clears throat> gals, can pretty much go to any comp and compete. And typically, there's not a huge quantity of people that are in that category. So you got maybe, I don't know, four or five? I think there's like about six. What? Yeah. In Chelsea's category? Yeah, so, yeah and, and that event is a big event. So yeah, yeah. you're going to draw a big crowd. They actually split theirs up into two different categories. You know, so, like, a, was it a craft natural, natural and a cooking beer and a fantasy beer. fantasy yeah yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. there's actually uh there's a smaller comp coming up in dallas at strokers dallas uh i believe it's the, the weekend before beards on the bay it's gonna be on a sunday but uh up until today uh whisperina was not a category uh, category and there were so many requests coming in 
and so many people upset because they're not doing the whiskerina that uh, Stag actually came out and said, okay, it's official, we're going to do whiskerina. <laughs> I mean, they're, 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 they're stupid if they don't, man. It's, so many people are going to come in just for that. Absolutely. Chelsea, Chelsea brought home the silver. Yeah. yeah. Wife yeah got awesome. a, she made her insane beard. She crocheted it. Sucker was down to her feet. She yeah. got a pin shredded her stuff and took home silver. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. If you, if you haven't seen it, we're going to be posting the pictures on the Facebook page right here where you guys are tuning in uh, probably tomorrow. So if you guys haven't checked those out, just stay tuned to the Facebook page and we'll get all those photos posted so you guys can see what, uh, you, know, you know, who was repping BC and, uh, you know, Chelsea's winning, uh, you know, uh, beard and costume, how she had herself all dressed up and it's really cool. I, I, I really dig it. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty hardcore, man. That's a huge competition and for somebody that's their first step into a comp and they come home with a silver. Yeah. I mean, that's, I could especially down there, man, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, it's a... Uh, Beards on the Bay, there they have a kids category. Yes, they do. Yeah, and what if Cash is going to compete in? That's yeah. awesome. So we're bringing him down. And, uh, Cash is going to throw down. And there you go. He's going. He's going to try to win the trophy. It's, a, it's, a, it's turning into so it's a kid family affair. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's uh, the bearding world. A lot of times it gets a bad rap because people just think, oh man, there's just a bunch of you know roughneck bearded guys getting drunk and rowdy and you know causing trouble and all this, and that's really not what it's about. You know, it's more about uh, you know Raising friends them. getting together, people you know meeting new people, yeah. you know, and it's, it's a lot of them are becoming family atmosphere where you can you know you can bring kids yeah. without worrying about you know getting rowdy or you know yeah. being in trouble, and uh, you know that's really what it's about. Yeah. It's getting family, family and friends together, having a good time, a little camaraderie. Plus, mm -hmm. uh, they're also raising money for some kind of charity too. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. every yeah. going to a charity. Yeah. Coming some some calls. Yeah, every beer com every beer competition. Uh, pretty much, the proceeds <laughs> go to some some sort of charity. And uh, speaking of uh, beer commanders, we're going to be putting on a beer competition. We don't have the dates lined out just yet, but we are in talks with the local VFW post here in town to see about uh, having that as the venue. And of course, uh, if so, then you know, we'll be donating to uh, to them. So we'll be donating to to the post. So we'll be helping uh, a lot of veterans that are members, and that that's their home post. So we're really, really looking forward to uh, being able to try to do that. Yeah, that's, gonna, that's gonna be huge. They actually, uh, the MC at uh, Come and Shave and asked me if we were gonna be doing yeah. something like that. And I did uh, say something like that. And I said that the, the dates are in the air. And BFW uh, 1469 looks at Hatchie, so uh, there's news to come. I mean, y'all be the first to hear it when we know, so. Absolutely, but it's coming. It'll be this sometime this summer, probably, I'm thinking June or uh, end of May at the latest, so, or at the earliest, rather. <clears throat> so stay tuned, plenty of time to get you guys noticed, and uh, we're gonna be, uh, all the bells and whistles, and you know, we'll have flyers put together and a bit tab created so you can share it, you know, invite friends, invite whoever, and uh, we're going to have all the categories too, so that way you, know, you guys can come. You don't have to worry about, you know, the wives going, oh, I don't want to go, it's no fun. Well, you know, that's not the case anymore. No. No. There's going to be a bunch of other wives, you know, girlfriends or whatever people coming to, uh, to compete. So we're going to have all the categories. We'll have a kids category too. And so it'll be a family affair. It'll be a good time. Everybody come out and uh, it'll be our first ever beer concert that we're going to put on. So it's going to be a damn good time. It'll be a lot of oh hell yes. Oh hell oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, boys. It's going to be a whole lot of them. I'm kind of partial to that uh, Texas Red Beer category myself. <laughs> I want to see more of those out there. But. We definitely, we definitely can make it, uh, you know, as big as, as big as, uh, you know, as big as Texas. It's a matter of how many people want to, you know, come and compete. Yep. You know, we might do a pre-registration where we get you know, a certain amount of people. It's okay. Well, we can, we can make more categories. You know, we can do Texas red beers. We can do, you know, uh, we can 
get some big beers and we can do some open two foot or whatever, you know, whatever. Yeah. Some freestyle going. We're, we're totally about, you know, we're totally about uh, making it to fun for everybody, make sure there's enough categories for everybody to, to have kind of a, a home and come up with some cool trophies, cool awards to give out to. You know what they did that there that I thought was pretty neat was uh, they did that six month sprint. I was just about to say that too. That was yeah. pretty neat. Yeah, was, and, uh, I know how long it took me to grow my beard and I know what it looked like in six months. Some of these guys, man, in six months. They put us to shame. They have full beard. <laughs> No way. <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing's take me a long time. It's all I got. <laughs> and these guys are walking out. Just, yep. I mean, you can tell because they're not trimmed up at all. They're just, yep. they just you got the big bush. <laughs> yep. but, so, yeah, they all get together, awesome. I guess, some six months ago. They all shaved, so they knew. That's when they start. And it's six months in the comp, so they couldn't trim, shave, anything. Yeah, that was, that was cool. That was neat. That's awesome. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't make them shave. I just do like a, the same size guard. That way, you don't have to lose the whole beard. Yeah, just do like a, you know, like a two or something. Everybody still get a beard. Start start the same line. Still, yeah, still get the same length. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know about it. I mean, you shave when you're dead. That's right. You know, so, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Charles Lewis. Charlie Lewis is in the house. He's gonna be down there. Yeah, he is. Better come out and support. Better show up. Get that beard. Get that beard ready. That Caribbean reef. <laughs> Living down there uh, on the coast, so I imagine that Caribbean drink will be a hit down there. And the Irish cream being the same patties we can. That's true. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, we're we'll gonna come up with a pretty uh, pretty unique costume for that show. Yeah. Yeah. I got a different hat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, St. Patrick stuff, so there you go. Yep. I gotta we gotta do something for St. Patrick's Day weekend. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, it's always fun. It's always fun because you know people are going to come and uh, <clears throat> they're just going to throw down with some crazy wild outfit or oh, something that you don't you don't even expect it. You know, obviously like Josh usually comes with you know That's scantily clad. You have no uh, idea what he's going to show up here. Scantily clad. Uh, talking about wildly. talking about barefoot. That was out there in uh, old Cowtown. Uh, <laughs> he definitely gets the crowd going. That boy's a dude. Yep. Yeah, so he's got more, uh, more than I got. <laughs> no way. What else we got going on? Well, I'm, staring, I'm staring at this box on the table. I'm sure they are too. Want to know what it is? What's, What's in the box? box? What's in the box? What's in the box? It's in that it's, box. You want to tell them what's in the box? Give them a little. I don't know, know y'all. It's probably too far away. Here, here bring, bring it up there and look at it closer. See if we can get it up. Uh, look at it. Just, just look at that. See if we can get it in the lap properly. Anybody know what that is? It's hell in a box. That is hell in a box. Paul decided to. Uh, I mean, do y'all want to see somebody eat that? <laughs> if do, y'all do. I mean, we need to be seeing a whole bunch of OLES. Yeah, we need to see some boys and. Uh, Start getting loud in the BC group. And yeah. <laughs> what, what it is, if you don't know, is uh, I know you all heard of the uh, the pepper, the Carolina Reaper. Uh, this is the the same guy that created the Carolina Reaper created a new pepper called the Black Reaper. It's hotter than the Carolina Reaper. The only way to get it is uh, infused in this chocolate bar right here. <clears throat> So uh, I seen a video, so I went ahead and I ordered a box for myself from uh, 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 Fuego Box, and uh, it's a, apparently it's a challenge, um, and you're supposed to put it on YouTube and hashtag Chaco Challenge 2019, and uh, apparently it's really, really hot. <laughs> um, I've been yeah. breaking off little pieces and bringing it to work and giving it to the guys at work, and they're like, how'd you do it? I was like, I haven't. <laughs> I'm letting y'all be the guinea pigs. Yeah. And, uh, he got Clinton in the... I tried it. <laughs> Jake tried and Bryce it. tried it while he was up here. Um, so, yeah, I guess we're going to eat it tonight. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about weed. So uh, <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure there's a weed. Right? Yeah. I don't know about a weed. It's, it's weed. <laughs> pretty sure you bought that. So. Well, I, I like to share. 
So, okay, but, uh, that's why I brought my s'mores here. I guess, uh, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, and uh, did you get Nikki on that? I did. <laughs> she just said, Major Life Try. <laughs> when, I got, when I got this in the mail, I knew what it was. She was on the phone, and I broke off a little piece of chocolate, and I gave it to her, and she just ate it. And uh, like three seconds, she just stares at me, and she just started cursing me. <laughs> I, I felt bad for a second. But, uh, so that's what the little handprint is on the back of your neck. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> But uh, when you buy a box, one box is 20 bucks, but uh, $5 from every purchase uh, gets donated to uh, uh, prostate cancer research. So, uh, man, they're making some killer bucks for prostate cancer research, man. If they're taking $5, that's a lot of money uh, Absolutely. for each state one, yeah, Prostate Cancer Foundation. Um, Y'all go check that out. Yeah. It's called... Uh, Fuego box. Yep. Coco Loco. Coco Loco. <clears throat> the Choco Challenge. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. y'all check that out if y'all are interested in uh, in getting you one or buying one as a gift for somebody or tricking them into eating <laughs> chocolate and thinking that it's just you got an enemy at work, you know. <laughs> I want to get my kids. <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> Cats don't trust me anymore. They do. I've gotten him way too many times. Also, a quick shout out to uh, the guys that do, they actually do their live uh, broadcast the same time we do, but uh, the uh, Essential Guy Talk, Essential guy talk uh, Beer Commander and BC Seasonings are uh, sponsors of that uh Podcast, I think essentially that's what it is. It's a podcast. Yeah, they, do, they do a live video, a live feed, a live broadcast, and uh, you guys go check them out. They do some really cool things. They do. Um, Let's see how much you got. They do. We, we send them some sauces and stuff to try. They did like a, a blind taste test. They they've done all kinds of different things. It, they talk about all kinds of different things that are just focused around guys. So you know, sports, food. I mean, you know, beer, you just have to go check it out. Uh, they have a group, you go join the group. It's it's really cool. They got it set up, they do giveaways. Uh, it's just really awesome. So you guys go check them out, give them a like, follow uh, follow what they got going, check out their videos. They, they got a pretty cool thing going on there. PJ, PJ and, and the crew. Oh yeah, that was what we were watching them for, uh, for RBC Live tonight, out there. They got a pretty good show going on today yeah, about definitely. some hot wings. Yeah, yeah. their their starts Eastern time, so they're like an hour. They're like an hour and ahead, so they they get started a little bit earlier, and then they run over. Yeah. Their show is like two hours, or yeah, yeah, something like that. But uh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie you know, just said it. They're definitely a good pre-show. <laughs> good pre-show. <laughs> they're warming up for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, nah, they're they're definitely a yeah. good good group, and yeah. uh, we're proud to sponsor and. Uh, you know, that's, that's probably where Michael's at right now. He's all he's probably tied up in them, which is very, very possible. Absolutely. But um, he said he's gonna do the show with them or something. He's close enough. Yeah, I mean, yeah they're in Jersey, huh? Yeah. But, yeah. He said he wants to do a show with them. Well, they said. I mean, they've said that anybody, any, you know, wants to come in and one time or if we're in the area, you know, just let them know. It's just right so we got some, I mean, we're yeah, if we ever just having. A <laughs> I mean, you know, this guy, you know, that. Right there in New York, yeah. so yeah. I mean that ain't that ain't gonna hop skip it. Honestly, you need to tell uh, tell them to reach out to your dad, try to get him on there. Yeah, talk about uh, you know reaching out to vets, you know regarding uh, oh, the stuff. Yeah, you know, trying to you know answer questions, make sure you know, these guys know who to contact and if they're not getting the services that they that they need, then uh, you know just stuff like that to be able to connect. Yeah, yeah. There, there's always someone to call. Absolutely. You ready? No, personally, right? I, because if I don't do this, I'm not going. I'm going to chicken out. Do you need some milk? I don't have milk. <laughs> he brought his milk. You got milk? Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I got beer. But yeah, the, 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 you got your one. But there's no, uh, there's smell. no rule. It doesn't, it doesn't say you got to. You can't drink anything, or anything. it just says, it says you eat it, film it, and share it, and. Uh, <laughs> it's, good. it's good. It's good. It's good. It smells. It smells pretty hot, yeah. and that's where the chocolate 
mixed in. <laughs> so y'all ready? Okay. Cheers. Down the hatch. Best chance. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching y'all. I'm, I'm in it for the entertainment. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Let's see it. Here we go. It's not hot, right? It's not hot. Tom was sweating before we even started, so. We got any ghost pepper I can sprinkle in there? Yeah. I got an open one in the back that we use, uh, you know, people bring their lunches in. <laughs> Look at his face. It's hot. I need some PGP to pull us off. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like not, napkins. it's just not hot. I got, some, crack first. I got some paper towels. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I got a trash can too. Woo! Feel them. It, it takes it takes a minute to kick in. It's uh, you get the milk chocolate at first, and then you're like, oh, it's that's so, not bad. It's so bad. And then, then about thirty seconds into <laughs> it, <laughs> there it is. So Look at you sweating. Y'all see this reflection? <laughs> <laughs> There it is. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. That makes it worse. Whew. He's going to drink first. <laughs> Chris got the hiccups. Dang. Alright. Drink. Alright, Chris, drink first. Oh. It's hot enough to give you hiccups, so that's... I'd like to hot. say it's settling down, but it's not. <laughs> no. It's definitely a linger. And you only ate a piece that's probably about... It don't take much. It's probably about maybe a quarter of the size of a um, like a cheese it cracker. You know what a cheese it cracker size is? This is probably about a, you cut it into four, so that's about the size that they ate. So it's not even the whole thing. It's uh, not good. We need another beer. We got plenty. We got some rubies in there. I brought, I brought home. No, did you? All right. That's uh, that might be the hottest thing I've ever tasted. I don't think it gets any worse than that. And it lingers. That's yeah. the worst part. It just won't quit. No. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hot, guys. The Choco Challenge. 2019. Woo! No, it just keeps heating up. I mean, it's not even cool now. I've got the milk. <laughs> I thought I had. I knew what I was getting myself into. No. Not at all. It goes yeah. away for a second. You might get some ketchup. You might get some ketchup and mushroom. I felt like that one down. That's not so bad. That's not bad. Help! Try this. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Now we can try the PGP and the and the new heat and sweet sauce. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just dump those in your mouth. They're not cool down a little bit. <laughs> just add some more heat to it. Yeah, don't go away. Choco Challenge. <laughs> what do you call that? The, the Black Ghost? It's the Black Reaper Pepper. Black Reaper Pepper. Yeah. Last chance to turn back. You must be loco. Why didn't you let me that's, read that's, that? That's what it says in the box. I'm saying. There, hey, there's still another one, Tom. Finish it off. That did not happen. It's not looking good. <laughs> not looking good for the home team. No. That was pretty warm. If anybody's close to downtown Waxhatchee and you want to try it, there's one little piece right here. We Come got on down. That's the same. Same amount we just all had. And I got plenty of beer to help you wash it down <laughs> if you want one. I know one of y'all are close enough. You need to run over here right now and try this. You got plenty of time. Yep. I know one of y'all are saying right now, oh, it's not that bad. Hey, man, it's that little piece of chocolate. chocolate. It's chocolate. It's surely it ain't hot. What the hell? You get some that too hot. <laughs> That's like Willy Wonka like went to hell and forged a new chocolate. Brought that back with him. Whew. Choco Challenge. No turning back. I'm waiting on some Oompa Loompas to come barging in here and put us out with a fire hose. I mean, just wait till tomorrow. <laughs> just wait till tomorrow, man. It's going to be that much no, fun all over again. I want to eat a whole box of tums tonight. I mean, I don't know. That may not work. That's why I said a whole box. It's still hot. Mm. Like I feel like I got into my teeth, and like every now and again, it's like once you get a seed in the back of my throat. You get a seed come out. Look at you can see the seeds in there, Tom. I think that's the uh, the extract, like the crystallization. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it looks like almost looks like there are little nuts or something in there, but. Tasty. Yeah, tell us what it is. Cause I mean, I. I y'all y'all already all right, decided that. I think I'm calm down now. It's still lingering. 
<laughs> it's at that manageable heat level now where it's like, all right, I mean, we're about, yeah, we're about maybe a little over five minutes in. So yeah. it definitely is pretty hardcore. Now, somebody eat the whole bar? Uh, I've seen them do it. What? Yeah. It's like just taking the whole thing and just popping them. They're hating life, but they're doing it. They got some cojones, that's for There's sure. There's no way in hell I do that. Post it on YouTube. It's got, it's got so good nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm never doing that again. Yep. For those that are just tuning in, y'all missed out. What is it called? Black Reaper? The Black Reaper pepper. So it's the Black Reaper, which is supposed to be hotter than the Carolina Reaper. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Amos, you missed it. So up, Amos? Travis is in the get this. Come get this other piece right here. And by uh, us filming it, uh, actually, automatically enters uh, enters us into uh, what a free year of hot sauce from uh, Flavor Box. But I don't I mean, know if I want their hot sauce. It's like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we got our own. Now, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. All right, I'm good now. I mean, I wish it was like 30 degrees outside. I'd go stand out there for a second. Warm it up, warm walks at you. Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe if I go blow them north, they'll blow that cold front back. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. You are a little bit left. Nah, I don't. Yeah, you did. You got to burn somebody. Well, else. Nikki, it looks like uh, Tom's coming home with something for you. So, uh, <laughs> she don't lock the door. I ain't getting in the house. She's, she's like, nope. She's told you don't come back till it's gone. I guess you're sleeping with the smoker. <laughs> but she can make fire and uh, keep it warm. Right? <laughs> That's for a dog now. Got smoker. <laughs> Won't be the first time we slept out there. No? No, I guess so. A lot of brisket cooks. <laughs> Are y'all cooking this weekend? I am. What you guys thinking about it? Uh, we'll be doing two briskets. Two? I got a... Well, uh, how? What well, are you cooking? Probably going to start on Saturday morning. Yeah. Uh, I planned on doing one, and then uh, one of the ladies at work said uh, she's got she's got one oh, for, two, uh, for me to do, so I'm going to help her uh, do one. Awesome. Uh, what are you going to throw down on it? I'm thinking, uh, I don't know if I want to do a bulk maple whiskey or one yellow belly, one maple whiskey with uh, just a uh, AP. Or make, might do a yellow belly injection and like a, like a tight maple whiskey marinade and then AP on top. But uh, it's really good. That'd be some Hopefully it's like last time, and I get my 17 pound brisket to cook in six and a half hours. That was amazing. Freaking nature. Voodoo smoker. And it's not like I took it off early because uh, it, it ran temperature all the way through what I was looking for, about 203 degrees. And, uh, it, it cut open, it looked like, it tasted like all my other ones, so I don't know what the hell happened, but I like it. <laughs> Magic brisket. Look at it. Got that magic. Don't look at it. No, you're supposed to look at no, it. I don't want to look at that. Just look at it. <laughs> What's everybody else cooking? Anybody else cooking? Post up if y'all are cooking something this weekend. Yeah, for sure. Roll the smoke. Yeah, I'm gonna do a do a pork butt Sunday. Oh yeah. Let's think about this. Seventeen hour, seventeen hour pork butt. Probably. You do seven hour brisket. I do seventeen hour pork butts. <laughs> Low and real slow. <laughs> I turtle my Get more drinks in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> extra hydration packs there. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's great. Subsiding a little bit, is it? Still, uh, my I, just, I think my tongue is numb. Uh, my feels. Not good. I think I'm back. Yeah. I'm not going to be ready for that one. Go ahead. No, I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was saving that for Nikki. You said you're taking over her. There you go, Tasha. He's got something for you. Present. I'll probably walk in the house before I run. <laughs> He'll even taste it. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. Man. So, Nick just said he's going to Broken Bowl and you know, some maple whiskey burgers. Hell yeah. I love That's it. That's what's up. Broken Bowl's nice. I want to get up there. 
Green Allen, three butts, one brisket, two racks, and four beers. That's a big boy. That's a big boy right there. Yeah, shit, uh, me and him have been talking, and uh, he's got his sights set on some uh, some serious uh, smoking equipment coming in here soon. Nice. So, uh, yeah, Brent does that on the side. It's a side gig, and, uh, and he said he's uh, getting back into it. So, uh, <coughs> he's the one doing the burnt ends tonight, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 Good, candy. So, uh, BC Candy. Yeah. Well, I'll automatically win the dunk. I'm going to take this. You can take it home with you. I'll take it. I win all that. Yeah. I win the trivia. There you go. <laughs> no, no. No. Never mind. No. Never mind. The answer is this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, maple with some burgers. Or is that one of the I'll tell you what, Chris Jensen would make one yes. of the damnedest maple with some burgers. Or whiskey. So we're gonna get him to share that recipe again. Yeah, we some kind of rye whiskey on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We tried it firsthand when he came down. He let us try his whiskey burgers, and he let him try some of uh, Texas's finest chicken fried steak. Yes, it, it was pretty not bad. Pretty not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, man, I don't know how you can make this thing taste any better. It's like great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he never had a chicken fried steak ever. Yeah. He thought we were wrong for chicken fried steak. And he came down here. We got him a rocket cafe. Uh, steak, chicken fried steak. And he came down here and his eyes were just. But he was speechless for what? Three, four minutes? Yeah. Just eating, like, what is this? And like, first thing he was like, just pretty not bad. <laughs> he was just in shock. Hey, Ke Kevin Price said, hold on to it. He's going to swing by tomorrow. So, you got right. you got to do it live, though. All right, we'll do it live tomorrow. I got you. We'll have it right here. Well, Kevin Prince, sorry. Yeah, you have to do it. You have to do it live. That's the deal. Right here, I got you. It's yours. I'll be here all day. So what is he? Uh, about four thirty, I think. Four thirty. Yeah. You get by. Yeah, that's a good Come on. One. Fifteen minute burn, I guess. Yeah, dude. Still got a little bit of a lingering sensation. Should. I've never done one of them uh, pepper eating contests, <clears throat> but uh, I can't imagine there's something like that in there. Yeah, you can keep going after eating the So we need an event one. Pepper eating contest infused with Black Reaper. That hurt somebody. Good luck. I don't know if you can find anybody that handle that. It's I mean, I'm not saying you gotta put a lot of it in there, but you know, put a little bit in each one. You're just kind of surprised by what? a little bit more each time, but each pepper has a little bit more of it. Right, <laughs> right so they work up to it. <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big Pepper eating contest kind of person. Later, Eddie. Eddie's out. Did we hear? Uh, did we hear from Eddie on that ear call? Did we hear? I know he got uh, cleaned up. And... No. Hey, good deal. Yeah, you need to post how did you do on your beard call or how it went. Everything went good. Also, if you're not in the beard commanders group, go join that group. And uh, actually, Eddie Neil posted. Uh, on, uh, he lives in the Tampa area, and, and they did a segment on a blacksmith. And actually, Eddie was there while they were filming. And right. I guess he was doing the yeah, he was doing take a class. some of the classes, and uh, he's decked out in the BC his shirt and hat and stuff. That was pretty cool. It's good stuff. He's in now. Get out of. Are you good now? <laughs> you getting the hiccups now? No, no, no. <laughs> That hit G pretty quick. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it hit. It's good stuff. Good thing you had that extra beer. Mm -hmm. That's why I can't prepare it. That's why I brought that milk. <laughs> you didn't really drink that much of it. Well, I killed my water. I heard water makes it worse. Yeah. It did. <laughs> it did. Still feeling it. That's why I went with the, the Shiner uh, S'mores beer. Yeah, there's a... Uh, go good with the chocolate. Right? There's a... Uh, there's a couple YouTuber, uh, YouTubers, YouTubers <laughs> called. Uh, Can you speak? One's uh, Tammy. She's the the, the big blonde lady. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And uh, yeah. she's always messing with Officer Daniels. Yeah. He did it too. They both did. It. Yeah, I saw hers. And uh, I think that's where I saw you get it. I saw you yeah. comment on the post or something. And then there's uh, a guy, uh, Mike the Cop. I don't yeah. know if you ever seen his stuff, but he was doing it. 
you know, they're, they're all cops, and he's, he brought a six pack up there of, uh, I forget what it was, but apparently uh, beer helps too. Yeah. Uh, mm. Water don't. <laughs> Found that out. And I've got on the H2O. I have plenty of water for you, Kevin. <laughs> Tomorrow. Plenty of water. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that, I do, that does the trick. But yeah, we're getting into uh, the end of, end of winter. Spring's right upon us. And, uh, yep. you know, for all y'all that haven't been smoking or barbecuing all winter, which down here really hasn't been bad at all, but uh, now's that time. So you usually get that one last push. Yeah, which is probably coming up. Yeah. Next thing you know, it's going to go from 30 degrees to 110. I'm ready for it. <laughs> and I, work, bunch and I work outside it every day, so. Got a bunch of different barbecue uh, competitions coming up that, uh, that uh, you know, we'll be posting. Some of them we might be going to. Others will be just, you know, for y'all's uh, viewing pleasure in case, you know, they want to they wanna go, try to help spread the word on where the, beer, or the barbecue comps are going, going, going at. Um, they're all over Dallas Fort Worth and obviously the whole state. But uh, yeah, we got a couple going. right here local. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna have uh, we got the one at the uh, Texas uh, Motorplex and uh, in April, and then at the end of the year, there's the really really big one at the Expo Center, and uh, that's the uh, is that uh, Kansas City, I believe. Yeah, I think there was a KCBS one. Um, they're also the Duncanville one is back on. They're doing that one. Yeah, they canceled that on us last yeah. year because of the rain. But they're they're gonna do that again. That one's the uh, IBCA. That's one forty coming up, right? Yeah, I they reshared just, it. It was supposed to be this weekend, yeah. and they moved it to April because yeah. of the weather. They're talking about bad weather this weekend. So, but then you did the BC. Uh, we're live in the group. I want to try to do a get together. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna try to start getting together. Uh, I, I don't know the frequency yet, but uh, yeah. you know, every couple months or something on a Saturday or on a Sunday, and uh, just around the area, we may do it out here at HQ, or uh, we may do it at somebody's somebody's house. They got a, enough room. Maybe a couple know, phone calls. Maybe you go down and get some dinner. Yeah, maybe up at the VFW post. I mean, yeah. it could be anywhere. Um, but that don't really matter. The, 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 what matters is uh, just getting together, having a good time, relaxing, you know, enjoying some barbecue, some good food, Boy, some good fellowship, and just, you know, getting outside, you know, and, and that's, hell, that's what it's all about. Yeah. We're all smoke. Just look at it. Just look at it, yeah. Got a lot of that going on. Damn right. Boy, you know, I'm surprised when I roll smoke, I just like to look at it. Sometimes I, I don't even know what I'm cooking. I just like smelling it, watching it. Yeah. That's like, oh yeah, I get food on there. Yeah. Okay, we can eat something later. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've been talking, uh, you know, it's gonna, the, the, the nicer it's, get, it's getting, uh, we're gonna go in and I get a gator. Yeah, we're gonna get a gator. Smoke a gator, yeah, and uh, that's still on the table. It's still, on. Uh, we're gonna do it. Yeah, it's on. We're still gonna smoke a smoke a whole pig. Well, I have a guy who works. He's telling me also he's wanting to get a gator for him too. So he's he's looking around for a gator. So if he finds one, we'll just go all in. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure. I mean we know where to find them, but if we can find a place better, yeah, it's good to have well, options. Yeah, so he might just pitch in and roll smoke with us. Yep, no We know a guy, uh, uh, what's the guy's name, Hunter? He's in the beer commander's group. Uh, he worked, I think he works on like oil releases. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he lives in Louisiana. I'll hit him up, and uh, he probably knows. He might have some contacts yeah. on, uh, on some gator. One of them Landry boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoot him. Shoot him. Get, get hooked up on the gator. Although I will say, the gator that you got, what was it? Very comp. It was like tenderloin. Yeah, yeah tenderloin. tenderloin. It's yeah. fun. With some PGP on there. That was, yes. that was yes. really, really good. I liked it. I was surprised. Yeah. I, I was shocked, to be honest, at, at the, at the, at the yeah. flavor. 
Yeah, every, every, everybody tastes it. Everybody's like, oh, it tastes like chicken. But there is a, it does, it's got a chicken texture, but there is that distinct fishiness. They, 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 they call it swamp. Swamp? Yeah, they do. And, uh, but it didn't taste bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah, it was, it was, it was it tasted awesome. really good. Yeah. But, no, I'm definitely, I definitely want to do a, a full gator. And uh, we might have to pull out the big dogs for that. Yeah, and, uh, absolutely. Roll the big, big boy up here. Yeah. Rub it down with some good old uh, yellow belly. Oh, soaked man. on that. We even seen him wrap it in bacon. Like, yeah. Drink the bacon all over yeah. there. Yeah. I'm in. Hell yeah. I'm in. All right. Damn. Totally down. Totally down. <laughs> down. Down. Yeah. Say when. Right. So, yeah. No, we want to start doing these big, these big cooks, and uh, obviously, you know, it's going to be more food that we can handle. So we're going to need everybody showing up and having a good time when we do these things. Absolutely. Uh, Come hungry. Get to do some uh, refreshments. Right. Get some crawfish. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. We know some, uh, who was it that, was it, uh, uh, they're at your birthday party. Oh, Kim? Kim. What, yeah, what Chad and Kim are going to do? Yeah, well, they, they usually do one uh, sometime in March. Uh, they have a big, big old fire. I think they actually got the thing from Academy that does all the work for you or something. I don't know, but it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. They do what to get with them. Make sure we get some people that you know that, that already kind of uh, know the ropes and you know they come out and yeah that'd be fun. Yeah, Brent. Uh, no, you were. I didn't even think about them. Uh, I know. I know Ricky Peel and all them. I can holler at him and see what uh, what he can put together. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for uh, bringing that one up. You said uh, talk to the boys over at Atkins. They might know something. Yeah. So I didn't sure. even think about them. Look it up. Absolutely. Yeah, right down the street. Um, man, I'm, I'm just happy that shit's gone. <laughs> yeah. like, you probably stop sweating. I feel like driving home. I'm you gotta be careful, <laughs> window. You gotta be careful with the Choco Challenge. No yeah, joke. Like Ace Ventura, no driving out the window. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. With gum in his mouth. <laughs> Your wife said Gator, yes. Oh, yeah. No, I know she right. wants it. The boss said gator, you gotta go. Yep. Let's do some gator. Get a gator. <laughs> I'll bring the smoker up here and uh, or take it to your house or wherever. We'll yeah. just throw down. Yeah. Wherever we'll we can get more people. I've got a field, he's got a parking lot. We can, we can make it happen wherever. I've yeah. got a stomach. You've got a stomach? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It works out. I mean, that, that works perfect. I mean, <laughs> don't get no better than that. Yeah. Anything yeah, else you want to touch base on? Or, uh, well, we got some product to give away. Oh yeah, we got we got a. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna give it away, but uh, we got a we got a yellow belly, we got a spicy taco seasoning, we got Caribbean reef and a coconut beard wash. And apparently, we can't win, so we don't want to hear y'all saying that we always win. Yeah, but we, we can come <laughs> up with some of the questions, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in. I'm ready right. for that. I'm thinking. Let's throw down some. Uh, Here's Josh Barefoot. Yeah, talking, talking about talking about him earlier. Yeah. So Josh, old crazy brains. <laughs> uh shit. All right, so y'all ready to win some stuff? We gotta we gotta rack our brains real quick and think of some uh, some trivia or. We wanna see some boys. Are y'all ready for a giveaway? We see some boys. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh Nikki's already on it. <laughs> Nikki's really? on it. Oh okay, yeah. That's. Tom's proxy win here. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the wives at home. <laughs> Want to try to win it for us? They got, they got that Siri on standby. <laughs> <laughs> Siri is winning. <laughs> oh, it's ready. Mm -hmm. You know, there's comments rolling in now. Josh, we were telling everybody earlier uh, about your in costumes. A, in, a, in a PG version of uh, your costume from Saturday. Saturday, <laughs> shit. What about December? December. That's <laughs> Every time I see yeah. that, dude, it's it's like whoa. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny because he's always wearing a robe, and I went up to him before he got on stage, and I was like, I was like, what you got for a surprise this time? He's like, you'll see. 
<laughs> ain't letting the cat out of the bag yet. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get to the questions. Let's figure out some uh, What do we got? What's the mint scent one? We've got two. There's two mint. There's a peppermint and then there's eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is nice. That's where your wife was asking about the mint with what she likes. The mint uh, scent uh, bombs. Oh, she, she tells you she doesn't tell you. I don't know. I mean, she commented on yeah, it. So I think she was asking anybody. Oh. Yeah, we have peppermint and eucalyptus mint. Eucalyptus is a mint. I like eucalyptus. So we come up with any questions? Anybody uh, come up with any brain busters? I think I got one. Any serious might, might be something for them uh, dedicated beer commander customers and fans. There you go. So we get we get a bunch of boys. Where's the boys? I see some. We still got There's some people Tim. Yo, Tim's got a big oh hell yeah in there. That is Tim. Oh hell yeah. The yes. originator, originator of the oh hell yeah. He's got a tattoo on his arm. Oh, what down? He's got oh hell yeah, right down there. He's a he's a who has an oh hell yeah tattoo on. Him. <laughs> I know oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh hell yeah. yeah. We're uh. I won. That's gonna be like a like a, a drunk bet one night. He's got it. Who? Tim oh hell yeah. Tim. Yeah. yeah. That's I think it. we need to do. I think we need to do the, the BC logo. We need to get somebody to get the BC. Don't you already have that? No, I don't have that. Oh, you just not crush your belly? I don't have, I don't have, I don't have any tattoos, honestly. <laughs> no, I thought you said you had a commander on there or something. No, no. no that was down his look. No. <laughs> no, that was on the small of my back. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Next to the butterfly. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. So what's the first first item up for... Uh, Clint's got a good shoot for you, I guess. Well, I'm sure y'all y'all can ask and pick whatever you want to give away. All right, it don't matter to me. You got four items. Y'all ready for it? Four horsemen. Uh, yeah, there is four. Oh. Let's go up first. We got a tin of this Caribbean reef here. Full two ounce tin, up for grabs. First person that can tell me the original Wonder Balm scent. The very first Wonder Ball that debuted the Beard Commander. Who knows it? A bunch of oil, yeah. A bunch of oils. Thought you watch yours as soon as the first time. Very first Wonder Ball. Watch yours. Who has the most band tattoos? <laughs> That would be again. That would be Tim. Yep. <laughs> I'm still waiting on mine. There it is, Kevin Prince. Kevin Prince got it. Sandalwood. Yep. That's my go-to, my favorite. I yeah. go through that stuff. Kevin Prince is going to get Caribbean Reef and some chocolate. And some chocolate. Got this Caribbean <laughs> Reef for you, Kevin. Get your name on it. Black Reef. Black Reef. Black Reef. You don't have a lavender. Uh, no. We don't do lavender, but that's okay. Smoked bacon, that's an old scent. That's not original, but it's a classic. That's one, that's one that's in the vault. Long gone. I still have a little bit left. No, but not forgotten. <laughs> I have a little bit left in that one. Yeah. My new favorite here lately has been the uh, bourbon barrel. Yeah. It's a nice, strong smell that stays with you. It's very manly. Get a little, get a little bourbon barrel, uh, barrel oil yeah. going on right there. now. Hell yeah. We got the next question. Anybody find anything? I'm sure everybody's chomping at the bit. <laughs> Is there really a smoked bacon? No, there's no longer a smoked bacon. That one's retired. I want to pick something too easy. Yeah. Spicy taco seasoning and the yellow bell. Yeah, you got one? 
feeling good. I kind of want to not be too hard for him though, but no, I was never. Siri doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Siri, <laughs> Siri, Siri, Siri will know it. Yeah. Siri will know. I got, I got, I got a trivia question. But. Well, Tom's still thinking. So. All right. So you're up. So I'm you up. Pick one of these, and then. I'm a guitar guy. Y'all might see my videos. I like doing Telecasters. It was spicy taco season for Taco Tuesday. Who invented the Fender Telecaster? Boom. Who was the man, not company, who was the man that invented the Fender Telecaster? Google is getting blown up right now. And where, <laughs> where is Michael Lessesmore? Because I bet he knows the answer to this. And he's probably in yep. the, other, the other live video. Yep. Fender Telecaster. Freddie Fender. <laughs> Close. Close. Man, don't give the answers away. You can't win. I'm just trying to get the best I can. I'm running low on taco season. <laughs> you just won something last week. Uh, who knows? Anybody? Everybody's checking with Siri to, to confirm the yep. answers. Google's uh, search engines are blowing up as we speak. Anybody shut down Google? Who knows? The inventor of the Fender Telecaster, Clarence Leo Fender. There it is, Eric. Eric got it. Clarence. Yep. Eric. You got the spicy taco. Boy. Good job, Eric. Most ones could have named the, well, the free name of the Telecaster was. No the cast the Telecaster before that wasn't the official name. Huh? That wasn't the official name. It wasn't. The only reason why they called No Cast. What's up, Butch? Because they had to cut the decals of that rip original name off. Butch Walker in the house. Uh, so for that year, they were just always called No Caster. They just said Fender. But there is actually a name that was. I think, uh, I think Gretsch Sue. I think it's Gretsch. Little guitar history for y'all tonight. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Butch Walker, what's up, buddy? Yeah, we got to give this uh, This is one of my favorites. That's some money right there. Okay, so yellow Belly. For the Yellow Belly. Yellow Belly, what we got? Here we go. First okay. person to tell me in which city is Jim Morrison buried in. Oh, that's a tough one. Jim Morrison. Can I answer that right this second? No. You've been there, haven't you? No. No, I'm thinking the wrong city then. <laughs> Where is Jim Yellow Belly? Jim Morrison is buried in what city? Come on. Right about now, Google should be telling you where it's at. Paris? Where's it oh, there it is. Oh, Bush. Bush Walker. Which Paris, though? Paris, Texas. Paris, Texas? <laughs> Travis State Cleveland. No, it's, it's, it's Paris. All right, Paris French. Cleveland does rock there. Yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't Texas. It was France. Yeah. <laughs> Butch, you got yourself a bottle of yellow belly, brother. Boy, nice. Go. Come go, by, come by and pick that up. At your convenience. Your turn, Scott. Man, we got a we got a number thirty three beer wash right here. Yeah, we had a we had a, a guy that. Owns a barber shop in Massachusetts, and they stock a lot of our products. And they started stocking our beard wash probably about three months ago. And the owner of the shop started using some of the beard wash. And he uh, he told me the other day that that this beard wash of ours actually took care of his his skin issue with his face. He had a beard dandruff going on. He had went to the doctor. He had got prescription products from, from the doctor to, to try to alleviate his condition. And he said he when he used the, the beard wash that he pretty much just couldn't believe it. He's like, this, how is this possible? Uh, so super excited to hear that it works so well. You know, it, it could possibly help you in a way that you never even thought possible. 
and so definitely glad to uh, hear that. It's always great. Love it. It's a great product. So uh, also guys are a member so they can go. Okay. Actually, yeah. I gotta get my dad on that. Take, uh, take a couple of these and come to check them out. Uh, sensitive skin. Yeah. It's good stuff. I'm trying to get back. Are there any first time viewers? Are there any first time BC Live? I usually ask earlier in the video, but we've got lots to talk about. First time viewers. Put a number one up. Well, I know, I've already seen a couple. I know one of my buddies is in here watching. He tuned in because uh, before we started the live, he shared a video of the Chaco Challenge, and that's I told him he said check us out tonight. <laughs> we already did it. Nice. Cody Hines, he's still here. So it's his first time. He just chimed in. Nice. Cody, uh, shoot the Beard Commander page a message. First time viewer. Absolutely. So we're going to get you a care package hooked up. Yeah, that cherry tobacco is my go to. It's a big boy right there. Paul Waltrip's in the house. Here's Paul. Oh yeah. What's up, buddy? <coughs> yeah, we just uh, were talking about some guitars a minute ago. Yeah, the trivia question. Yeah, you're about five minutes late. You could have gotten on that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You missed out. You would have won the the Telecaster question. Yeah, spicy taco seasoning. Clint told me you have a, a care package about to come down this way this week sometime maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're talking about. That might be a good uh, beard commander raffle. Hell yeah, that's awesome. If I remember correctly, I gotta get it set up and get it, get it top notch form and be ready to auction off or however we're gonna do it. Yeah, we still gotta work out the, the bugs on that, but we're definitely gonna raise a whole bunch of money for uh, one of our charitable organizations that we're partnering with. Yeah. Really excited about, about that. Well, that ain't fun, Paul. Definitely not. Building guitars, though. Yep. Yeah. That, that's fun. Ready for us to warm up so I can get back on it. <laughs> I've been off for right. a bunch of guitars. I'm ready to get started on my bass, man. Yeah. Chomping every bit. I'm ready to get going. Got so many ideas. I'm just ready to put them into realization. Be awesome. Oh, yeah. Have a good one, Butch. We just, we just got the, yeah, appreciate it, Butch. We just got the one confession that this is their first time, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Looks first like timer. It. So we good deal, though. That. That's a good deal. We got uh, we got like 22 people it looks like right now. That's good. Jumped up. Uh, I got a pretty tough question. There we go. For uh, you have to be around for for a little while, um, but I'd say uh, I can make it harder. But I'll just say. Uh, you know, if you know the exact date, that, that's great. You don't have to know the exact date because you get bonus points. I tell you what, if you know the exact date, I'll throw in the, I'll throw in a conditioner too. Oh, so there you go. When when did the beer commander brick and mortar shop open? Where we're at right now. What day? What day was it? What month, day, and year? I was here that day. <laughs> I know exactly that day. You, you, you don't get the first answer. answer. You don't get the answer. <laughs> oh. A lot of people aren't going to know, so I don't. I don't. You can't Google it. Siri don't know. Yeah. You just have to. You just have to be around and know when it was. So what are we got two I know the answer. answer. <laughs> April tenth. Nope. Twenty eleven. No. The store itself, brick and mortar, HQ. How well, long is HQ? The door's been open. <laughs> we got the Jeep and watch this for a minute. <laughs> I'll be right back. I gotta get something. So we're gonna take some shit. Take some shit. Who that can, can that work? <laughs> I should get on live now. Put this date in. Paul wants to know what the question was. The question was, 
what mundane year did we open the brick and mortar headquarters right here where we're at? Not when, not when did Beer Commander start or anything else, just when we, what day did we open the doors on the brick and mortar store? If you know, if you know the month and the year, that's good, that's, I'll take that. If you know the exact month, day, and year, I'll give you the wash and I'll throw in a conditioner. I know it's it's tough, but some of y'all some of y'all should know y'all were in here. I know Chris knows he was the first customer. I still looking for my dollar. Where's it at? Yeah, no, I still got it back there. <laughs> it's ready to be mounted up on the on the deal. Yeah, July twenty second, twenty eighteen. Nope. Well, nope. October fifteenth, twenty sixteen. Nope. nope. April tenth, twenty eleven, twenty thirteen. We need we need a need a month, 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 and month year. not just a year. Yeah, at least the month and the year. If if you know the actual day, the month, day, and year, that's a bonus. There's another July twenty second. Y'all are likely on July twenty second, huh? Let me get July. There's two so keep in mind, keep in mind that Beer Commander was e-commerce until we opened the brick and mortar. So. If y'all followed along, if y'all have been following along for a while, you know that Beer Commander's been in business for a long time. It was just e-commerce until we opened the brick and mortar. Oh man, how to cut your beard off? That that's a uh, rest in peace and hey, moment of silence for Paul's beard. Moment of silence. Man, I hate that. They still grow back, buddy. <laughs> yeah, the beards, they tend to grow on you. What was everybody the July 22nd? Yeah. I'm not sure. That's like, is that somebody's birthday, birthday or something? I don't know. Never mind. Oh, maybe they, maybe they did Siri and that's what Siri did. <laughs> Siri don't know this answer. Siri does not know. I four, guarantee four, you. Uh, 4 27 18. No. No, that's not, that's not it either. All I need is the month and the year. Now, how many kilometers <coughs> they got so I, before I can answer this one? Oh, no. <laughs> if nobody answers it, then we'll, we'll have it for next time, I guess. Yeah. Because we're already 30. Uh, we're going to have to. It's almost 9.30. I mean, there's only 12 months in the year. Yeah. And then, you know, you got to figure out what the year is. July 22nd. It's not July 22nd. It's not April 27th. It's not September. June 18th. No, no. It's not June of 2018. Smiley face. <laughs> it was not smiley face. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it was not April 2015. August 2018. No. March. Not August. 17. It was not March 2017. May. No. 2018. November. Nope. That was like. That's like. Come on. That's, come on we have a cook off in October. <laughs> come on now. That's Maybe my girl. She meant 2017. Yeah. 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 <laughs> At least she's trying to answer it for Yeah. Come on, where's Tasha? At? She should know. She, was she watching? She, she was earlier. There. She was earlier. My phone's here, so I couldn't have texted her. <laughs> November 17th? Nope. No, sir. Trick, <laughs> trick question. <laughs> the answer is brisket. <laughs> I love it. Unless the brisket comes walking through the door. June one. 2017. Nope. May 2018. So I think somebody already said that. Matt Duffy says, I roll with the gun pointed at his head. I'm sorry. January 2018. Oh, oh, close. Somebody. Thanks for coming. I think it's got it. No, no, no. Dancing. No, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Can I say the date? Can I say the date? 
the date? February 16th. The day before Chris's birthday. I was here with my mom. She <laughs> took birthday shopping. <laughs> Congrats, Tim. Tim O'Hillia. Congrats. Boys. You got the beard washed. Uh, let me know if you want to come by again or if you want me to ship it to you. Either way, it's no problem. Just let me know. And then the other one's, uh, that one's a pickup. And uh, Yellow Belly pickup. I just need to ship out the spicy taco seasoning. I already got your address, so we're good. Good stuff. And Kevin's coming by tomorrow. Yep. He's going to get his, uh, we got, we got, we got it. I want to see this. Yeah, we'll get, I'll get it on video. We'll, uh, we'll post it up. If he lets me, I'll post it up on the page uh, afterwards. Hell so, yeah. Y'all uh, stay tuned. We appreciate everybody tuning in. It's uh, We're well past nine, so we we'll probably need to check on out of here and get everything closed up here at the shop. But it's been a good time. Yes, sir. It's been a good time. Really good time. Get all the ginger beards in here. Yeah, we'll start, uh, start doing this for uh, every Tuesday or every other Tuesday. Make it a little bit more exciting. Get let, something going. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let us know what y'all think. Yeah. Y'all like how BC Live went tonight? Uh, y'all like just sitting there staring at Scott's beautiful face and beard? or Who doesn't like that? <laughs> I, like sitting, I like sitting next to it. But just look at it. Yeah, just look at it. But now let us know what you like, what you didn't like. If you want to see something different, give us some feedback. We want to make it. I just touch my mouth and my fingers starting. It's back. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Don't do that. Nah. Make sure to wash your hands before you go to the bathroom. Oh, nope. yes, sir. <laughs> good, that's a good point. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Anyway, good stuff. Well, shit. Y'all tune back in next Tuesday, 8 o'clock Central Time, for another episode of BC Live. Right. And you never know who might show up. Might be these guys, might be these guys, and somebody else. Man, you never know. Who it might be. Might bring another guitar up here one of these days. Maybe we'll get the wives to come in one night and we'll be at home watching. Yeah. We'll we'll the, the, we'll answer the trivia. We'll yeah, they, the, they can be on the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> yeah, we'll let the beard up do the BC Live. <laughs> All right, hey, we're right down. He's here next week. There it is. He's bringing uh, BC barbecue. Oh, well, yeah. I'm in. All right. Yeah, I think he just bought a ticket in. Yeah, come early. Yeah. We need time to eat. Sweet. We need to eat there. first and then be like, man, you're not going to believe how good this is. Yeah. And you sit there just feed us while we're on camera. And yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. You, we'll get a camera crew up here. I'll get this so, over for right? the reason. <laughs> that's briskets. Uh, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> All right, I guess that's a night, huh? That's it. Yeah, that's a wrap. Y'all have a good rest of your week. Hope everybody uh, comes out and joins us this weekend at the events, come by the barber shop, get a haircut, beer trim, pick up some product, you got questions, we got the answer. Come on down. So that's it for us. We just gotta go kill the camera. Do it. I got it. Big boy. Oh hell yeah. Boy. BC, BC out. out.